Bill Buell and Alana Booth. And these guys, uh, they get hooked up. They're in history. They fly down to the track. All right, here we go. Dustin Hook, Thompson, Illinois.
Jeff Chin's coming on uh, a little too early or something not. It seems to me it looks like the water injection's coming on. And I don't know if, uh, if that's it exactly, but it's what it kind of looks like to me. But he's, he wants to tow off here. Hopefully he'll be able to get that figured out. For those of you that might not understand uh, the water injection part, I'll give you a little, little insight to that. Uh, these, these diesel tractors make so much heat, and uh, they put so much fuel and timing into them to make them run. And, uh, And uh, what that water does is there's nozzles in the intake port uh, along the intake or in the intake pipe. And some even put them in front of the turbocharger themselves. And uh, what they do is when you build so much boost, they're either set on the boost where you build, say you build 50 pounds of boost, then the water will come on and the water's on. It'll be a little light on the dash, let you know the water's on. And you got the candle lit, you can let it fly. And, or some are actually done manually. There's a switch on the throttle that they do electrically, push the button in and it turns water on. And you'll be able to tell when they do this or when the water comes on, because uh, right before they take off, you'll see the black smoke come rolling out the stack. There'll be a little red flame, a little cone, that comes out of that stack and all of a sudden it'll disappear. Well, when it disappears, that's when the water come on that uh, cools that back down. They build the heat, get it fired up, and uh, they kind of tame the heat down. So what they do is they regulate it so they keep their cylinder temperature even across the board as they can and uh, you know keep it from melting down. So that's how they do it. Well, when that water goes into that hot cylinder, it actually turns into a gas. It turns into oxygen. The more air fuel you put into an engine, the more horsepower will make. Let's give him a hand as he rolls down through there. Hopefully he can get it fixed and come back. 